like this game. The show's going by too fast. People are too happy here. Get on with us. The couch is the celebratory couch. Get there. Call in 252-228-5098. Smash the thumbs up button. Be a part of the conversation. What's up, C3 Podcast? This is the kid of G. Panthers Dan, how y'all doing today? Of course, y'all are doing excellent because I'm doing wonderful. Uh, we got a great one. I just want to address the fan base that still believe in this, u- this is unicorn called tanking. <laughs> oh, God. Listen, people, it's is never a thing. Players are never going to put what's best for the organization above their particular money. <laughs> they got to test the incentives and bonuses. Everybody that you saw when these folks was drafted in that room, I'm sure they're paying a few of those bills. So they're trying to get those bonuses. They're trying to get those incentives. They're trying to get their money up. So, yeah, <laughs> players do not tank. And as far as the coaching situation, do you think this guy is going to just lay down no. Nope. And not get a coaching job when he, you know what I'm saying? Because if it's not for the Panthers, if he gets his wins up, somebody's going to hire him. So let's, 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 let's lose that. Another thing is this. If we can be something now, hot damn it, let's be it now. Ah, darn. I mean, we already got two first round draft pick quarterbacks that are bust on our team. These people do not prove out. We got lucky with Cam. <laughs> and he really never got a ring. You know, and that's not taking away from anything that he has done. But believe me, you know what I'm saying? He's my favorite quarterback. But the situation is what it is that these first round draft pick quarterbacks do not prove out like that. They just don't. Look at Kyler Murray. Does he seem the happiest right now? <laughs> so, and, 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 and get this too. If we be what we're going to be right now, we may be able to entertain a, a pissed off Kyler or a Lamar Jackson at the end of the season. And we still draft the quarterback, but that, in that case, we're not really depending on that first rounder to just be our savior at that time. Totally. You know what I mean? Let's do the smart. You know what I'm saying? And because we wanted to be content, we want to talk that junk, right? I'd rather, I'd rather be able to hold my head up high and talk junk to these Saints fans, these Bucks fans, and all that other stuff. Yep. They're just waiting for a first-round draft pick to come save me. Tell them. Keep pounding. Always. Pounding. Oh, I felt that one. I felt that one. We ain't looking for no first-round pick to save us. We can save our damn selves. I like that shit. And I don't care what y'all say. I believe in Matt Corral. I'm not going to take those preseason games against him. I'm not taking the fact that he was a third-round quarterback against him. That's our future. Until something else says different, bro. We got the W. Now we need to pull for more. PJ needs to do his damn thing. Matt Corral needs to get healthy. And boy, these Panthers can roll, baby. Let's go. I love the call. I love the points you guys are making. I just disagree with one thing that you're saying, Coney. And that is, I actually like your confidence in your evaluation of Matt Corral. I like that. But if you were just being appointed GM of this team, you, Cody Lashney, and you did not pick Matt Corral, you you could not go into next season with that being the plan. Him you have starting, to evaluate the talent you have on the roster. You could not. A- you cannot and do in good faith to your organization going forward with top five pick go into next season saying uh, we we think we have the answer on the roster. You, well, there's like, no way. How about this, though? What, Coming what off if, an injury. Okay, how, how about this? Do you have so, to take a quarterback? What if you're not number one? What if you're not number one and you don't have a chance at C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young? Are you just taking the never the, the next best Joe Snow, who you're, who you're hoping can turn it around? At that point, maybe you do add more talent and see what you do have in Matt Corral. What do you do at the quarterback position in 2023, then? Well, it depends on what kind of year he has, man. Like, no, no. I mean, you can't walk into the season with just naming Matt Corral the starter without – you haven't – coming off an injury. Like, what else are you going to do? You're just going to have him at P- – like, Matt, what? Matt that, they can't – you can't go into that season with, with that being the plan for a new head coach. I mean – Welcome, uh, welcome – 
to the league, bro. Here is a guy that you didn't draft who's coming off of an injury who has never played in the NFL. Let's see what we got with him. So what would Imagine you what the season would look like. Now. Like you would have to go, you would have to go and get a free agent. <laughs> or You'd do you think to... that either Sam, Sam Darnold or Baker Mayfield would be willing to re-sign here for pennies on the dollar? Do you want one of them to re-sign for pennies no. on the dollar? <laughs> well, then what like, would yeah. you do? I mean, it's like a, you can't say you can't say these kind of things and then not actually be willing to commit to the plan that would require it to happen. I mean, maybe, but again, like, yeah. Like what kind of very... NFL head coach is going to come in here and say that's the plan? Like, well, you want me to do though? that? If PJ Walker plays well the rest of the year, oh my god, maybe it's not such a stretch to say, okay, we got the rookie that we drafted, That's and, the stupidest and, thing I ever heard. and PJ Walker has has made some headway, you know, and he Crazy. put us in the position. This that is sleight of hand, here. CK. Yeah, Cody is doing sleight of hand right now because that's just not realistic. It's not realistic to even think Give that you could. Give me a more realistic answer, Tony. What's a better, more realistic answer? Are you reaching for just whatever quarterback is 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 available? Just whoever's there? I, I think it's not fair to answer that question right now because it's all situational, right? Yeah, I, and I would like, say like, this is I think they're the top three. Everybody, you guys keep throwing some other names like a top three, like the third guy might not be that far from the first Levis. two guys, right? So I will say that. The other thing is more, I'm more interested in this is like how you justify next season, how you don't call that a tank, how you could even say Matt Corral has, like it's just not even, it's not a good situation for anybody, for the coach, for the quarterback, the plan for that season. Right. And if you really do believe in Matt Corral that much, you're going to have to then sign someone to a one-year deal. That's what I would do. I would sign and like is like none of these multi-year deals, none of this shit. So you got one year, you're going to be the starter for the first five games, and then we're going to put Matt Corral in, or Matt Corral is going to beat you out in camp. But you can't just walk into the season with Matt Corral and PJ Walker. That would be fucking lunacy, dude. Let's do um, it, Matt Corral season, baby. Let's go. All right, That's here. Awesome. Let me see. I'm going to skip up to witness the Walker wonder. We got some good calls coming in. Uh, I also want to tease this for the callers. We've talked so much about Wilkes, and I want my panel to think on this, the coaching improvement with Wilkes. This defense held Tampa Bay to three points today. Al Holcomb calling the defense without J.C. Horn, without some key, without Jeremy Chin. Was Phil Snow over? Was was he fraud? Was he fraudulent in a way? And maybe maybe that's too harsh. But like, has the defense improved? Addition by subtraction in the coaching aspect. There are no three three five stack. If I'm if I can remember correctly, let's go to the next call. Hey guys, it's John Jenkins again. And first off, this has got to be my favorite episode ever of the C three post game show. <laughs> uh, anyway, I know it's like basking. I just want to say I, I had a simple observation about PJ Walker. I know that I'm a little biased, but I took my kids to go see the Vikings game last year, bought some binoculars, and I was watching the sideline. I was watching the team chemistry, I guess, between who was hanging around Sam Darnold, who was the starting quarterback at that time, and who PJ Walker was hanging around. And there were like five or six guys just like chatting it up with PJ. And Sam was usually by himself or with the QB coach. So there is something about PJ. Like the guys respond to him. And I mean, I saw that in the XFL, which is why I've been on his, you know, <laughs> been leading the charge for quite some time now. But anyway, that's just an observation. I mean, maybe, maybe he does bring some sort of intangible to the team that, you know, Sam and, even Baker didn't even have. So that's my thoughts, y'all. Keep pounding. And, uh, of course, witness the Walker wonder. Hey, shout out John Jenkins. I'm ha hey, I'm happy that he's so happy. You know what I mean? Dude, this yeah. man, look, even when PJ Walker is not a part of the discussion. He's, he's always in, in the here. chat room. Witness the Walker wonder, baby. I love it, man. Shout out to John. Um, I, I don't know. PJ... Dude, it even goes back to that Detroit Lions game 
that we pitched that shutout, which was very similar, you know. We didn't even let Detroit have a field goal. Tampa got one today, but it's like, dude, PJ in these weird moments just provides a spark that no one else does. In three years, not Teddy Bridgewater, not Baker Mayfield, not Sam Darnold has been able to provide as big a spark to the Carolina Panthers playing quarterback as P.J. Walker. And that's, like, undeniable at this point. Carlos, right. what, what what did you guys think about this defense with Al Holcomb? Was P.J. Walker the start? We'd like to hear your thoughts. And I'll tell you, this P.J. Walker reminds me of 